Okay, coming right up, how to get more sales for your products, whether it be Etsy store, Amazon store, or especially Shopify. And it's combining the influencer outreach template with Russell Brunson's Dream 100 to create one way to make some more sales. So let's take a look. Welcome back Craft Life Academy. So moving on, influencer outreach system. So this is a system that I wanted to share with you. It's a really important uh, thing to grasp as you get your sales on Amazon and Etsy rolling quickly. You'll want to more also migrate this system into your strategy. So influencer outreach system. So let's take one of my customers, uh, Sammy. You'll find her at, at Sammy Art Style and she creates handmade hats. Her brand is Elf Hats. And each hat has a custom button sewed in, which she makes from my shrink plastic that I sell through the Mr. Decor Paper brand. You can find that in the uh, resources, but it's also available uh, uh, it, across the US, a uh, shrink, shrink plastic, shrinky dink, that's the material that she's using. This method can be applied to any niche. So if you're following my training, you might be creating beautiful artwork by sliding photographs of wedding couples onto glass, or you might be making ghost trains. I don't know, the, the options and the, uh, and the offerings are limited when it comes to the materials that you're all already learning about. And the principle is the same for any niche. And it's just a case of following three simple steps. So step one is have a product that's proven in demand. So if you've been following my training, you'll already have some tips on how to be sure that what you'll create will record sales when viewed by people searching for what you have. And step two is to spend a little time each day to pinpoint influencers who already have an audience of people that include many potential buyers. So for this, you take to Facebook and do a search for Facebook groups or the same for Pinterest and that hold an interest in your product. And so for example, if you're sliding photos of pug dogs onto mugs with funny captions, you'll take in like look for pug dog groups or onto Facebook. And it's the owner of the group that you'll be contacting of which there are so many. And if there's a celebrity pug dog owner, for example, that would be another person to contact. Uh, you can take to Instagram and Twitter also for this, whichever platform you feel comfortable with. And if you're creating artwork for weddings, for example, Facebook group wedding planners would be a starting point followed by wedding planners or wedding bloggers, wedding photographers, all on Facebook and Pinterest. So for Sammy, it would be anyone with around five uh, and 10,000 followers on Instagram who often wear quirky hats. Uh, this level of numbers is the sweet spot as they often have good interactions with their followers, but are still small enough to be happy to chat with you and read about what you, you know, I'm about to show you. So potential influencers for whatever you're making are limitless. And it's really just a case of spending just 20 minutes a day locating a few to contact until you reach your income goals. And step three is to reach out to the influencer with the following personalized message. So if the influencer is called Jane and you're Kate, it's just, hi Jane, I'm Kate from wherever your shop is located. And I love what you're doing online. My passion is also, and I'm trying to spread the word. I'd love to send you a freebie of my product and I have a range at your shop. Please feel free to choose any item you'd like. Thank you so much for checking out my offerings. Your raving fan, Kate. And if you're thinking, ah, uh, no one will want to know, think again, because posting several times a day takes a lot of creative thinking about what to post next. So many influencers will jump on freebies when they love your product and post about them. But there is a massive way to increase that, your chances of an influencer talking about you. And that way is to follow them and spend some time before you send your request, commenting on their posts, compliment their work, add value in your comments if you're able to, and chat to their other people who are commenting. Add them as a friend on Facebook and spend a couple of weeks at least making uh, them yourself known to them before sending the influencer your request. This is what can make all the difference between be, uh, you being posted about or being ignored. 
And this system is mostly adopted by individuals who want to take full control of their visitors, their profits and their customers. And I'll explain how. Now, when we, we create shops on Amazon and eBay, we pay a fee for each sale, it's sometimes quite hefty, and it can eat into profits, especially when it comes to the time where you pay your taxes. And we also uh, do not get the customer's email. And previously, I had built an email list of customers reaching over 10,000 with eBay alone, and the rules changed overnight, and it all stopped right there and then. I have associates who've built up million dollar businesses on Amazon who had their traffic and business axed by Amazon overnight, purely because Amazon wanted that particular business and sales for themselves. And I have friends who've been banned from Facebook and their huge presence, which had took them years to build, disappeared in a second. And for reasons which hardly any one of us can make any sense of. And so if you're just starting out, sure, I do recommend both Amazon and Etsy, and to use the skills inside Craft Life Academy to get the ball rolling faster for you. But be mindful that developing your own customer list and solid customer base that no one can take away from you is something that I also recommend migrating into as soon as you are able. And so after you are securing daily sales of your crafts, look towards opening a Shopify store and develop a marketing strategy around creating a free traffic stream of interested buyers, building your email list and keeping all the money for yourself, safe in the knowledge that no one can take it away from you. So this starts by getting your Shopify store up and running. And if you're already a member of Craft Life, you'll know how to get this done in around three to five days and for around $50. And then feed your new shop with the search engine traffic, which I explain how to get inside Craft Life Academy, this influencer outreach traffic system, and the Pinterest traffic system, which is also inside Craft Life Academy. And that's it. Just one or two influencers can bring around big change and get the ball rolling, and sometimes very fast. So be ready for the ride. So that concludes my influencer outreach template combined with Russell Brunson's Dream 100 to get more sales. Now, if you are interested in selling your crafts online for the first time, or you're an existing seller, just not getting the sales that you'd like, check out craftlife.academy. There's one hour of free training on the page, and there's also access to my digital course how to sell crafts online etsy amazon and shopify so that you can hit the ground running that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video